why is it they won't bring me on these damn shows? And I think it's so funny that a lot of people who fall out with me because of what I said end up getting in trouble for the fucking same shit that I say. Right, George. Remember what 50 Cent went off on me about? Who remembers when 50 Cent went off on me and said, I was a coon for the way I talk about black women? Remember he said that? Fifty Cent went out of his way to let the world know I was a coon by the way I talk about black women. Terry Crews went out of his way to say that what it was that I do is wrong. My opinion is wrong. And he separated himself from me. Now look at what happened when his ass went out and sent out a tweet that black folks didn't like. Take a listen. Terry, man, hey. you stepped in it. <laughs> you say that you're willing yeah. to, you say you're willing to die on this hill. You've taken a lot of heat for this. Explain what you were thinking uh, and why it's so important that you die on this hill. Well, again, you know, I wanted to bring up the fact that, you know, there are some very, very you know, militant type forces in Black Lives Matter. And what I was issuing was a warning. You know, it's one of those things where I've been a part of different groups, I've been a part of different things, and you see how extremes can really get, can go far and can go wild. And then when you issue a warning, and when a warning is seen as detrimental to the movement, how can you ever, ever have checks and balances? Um, you know, in, in the 60s and 70s, airplanes went down all the time. And the reason they found out why they did was because the pilots could never be questioned. And when you have the leaders of the Black Lives Movement who are now talking about, you know, if we don't get our demands, we're going to burn it down. Uh, other black people who are talking about working with other whites and other, uh, other races, they're, they're being viewed as sellouts or called Uncle Tom's. It starts, it starts, you start to understand that you are now, you know, being controlled. You're not being treated as loved. You're actually being controlled. Someone wants to. Amen. Which is why, if you guys notice, my movement has always welcomed dissension. Which is why a lot of people who are fans of mine get mad because they say, why do you go out and constantly want to talk to people who dislike you? And if you notice, they all will start saying the same thing that I say. Listen to them. Now you know who controls you. Mm. Where'd you get that from, sir? When I was trying to tell you that, you went off on me. Now you're trying to tell them that, and you know how it feels, Terry Crews, don't you? Remember how you tried to put me down and you went on the radio show, went on this other radio show talking about me, that clown in Atlanta. You remember what you said? That clown radio show. Mm -hmm. Now who's the clown, nigga? They calling you a clown. Control the narrative. And I viewed it as a very, very dangerous self-righteousness that was developing that, you know, that, that really viewed themselves as better. It was a, almost a supremacist move. So let, let me jump where in, Where they Terry. viewed that For black lot, their black lives mattered a lot more than mine. Okay. So let me jump in here. There's a lot that you said. Um, you, you think of Black Lives Matter is, you said it's a, you think it's an extreme movement? Because it's now part of the... No, what... This is the thing. Yes, Terry and I were cool. He came on the show, me and it, we, we were cool. Then apparently they got to him because you know that's what niggas do. These little um, internet idiots will go send them stuff and say you shouldn't be his friends because, because he said or did this. So he had to come out and tell people how he didn't know I said this and how I said when I said mixed people aren't black and I'm going, I, so that was just his thing and I didn't get mad. He then went on another damn show talking shit about me and I didn't, I didn't get that at all. It's a great mantra. It's a true mantra. Black lives do matter. matter. But when you're talking about an organization, you're talking about the leaders, you're talking about the people 
who are responsible okay, for putting these things together. I got you. I got you. So let me it's put you, you, thing. Cherry, you realize that even during the So he explained it and he was right. The ideology versus and, and I talk about it when I talk about communism, the ideology versus putting it into work are two different things. Civil rights movement that uh, Dr. King was seen as extreme. That movement was seen as extreme to people who don't want to make change. Um, movements are seen as extreme. You can paint them easily as an extreme when they are not. This is very true. But also, you know, when you talk about MLK, you talk about Nelson Mandela and even Malcolm X, they all realized that you had to have a non-racial component to these kind of movements or there will be resentment. There will be get back. There will be one of these people will tend to you know, listen. I don't want to move from one oppressor to the next. And one thing is really who's, shocks who's me the next when oppressor? At, who's the next oppressor? Oh, when I when I describe this, when you look in the city of Chicago, there are nine children who died by gun violence, by black on black gun violence, with uh, from June twentieth all the way to today. And you're talking about even with the Atlanta child murders, there were 28 kids who were, who died during, in two years. You're talking about a month, and you have nine black kids. And the Black Lives Matter movement has said nothing about this. What does kind that of have thing? to do you with know, equality, though, it, Terry? I have to. Tell, I don't understand what that has to do with equality because they're they're listen. There's crime. There are people in those communities who are those people aren't just being nonchalant about about gun violence. I lived in Chicago. There are uh, yes, they actually are being very nonchalant about gun violence. I can't believe he said that. He said those people aren't being... What's up, CJ? Thank you for showing me love, Julie and Cameron. Uh, the game is right, Katie, Brandon, Man, uh, Montreal, and Gerard. He said those people aren't being nonchalant about violence. Sir, they are rapping about it, and the, the rappers are becoming millionaires. They are being nonchalant. They are calling their city Chirac. They are actually... Um, becoming more and more violent because the violence is becoming more and more accepted, sir. For many people who are working in those communities to try to get rid of the gun violence, it's the gun culture in the, the, the many people in those cities who are trying to get rid of the gun violence and it's not gun violence, it's violent people, you motherfucker. The violent people use whatever they had in their hands, whether it was a gun, whether it was a brick, whether it was a knife, whether it was a stick, whether it was a bat, whether it was no matter what you think, sir. So it's not gun violence, it's violent people using guns. If you're violent, sir, you can use your hands. This in this country is prevalent, but I don't understand what that has to do with a movement that's for equality for black people. It's, it, it, there, it's not mutually exclusive that if you care about equality for black people, that somehow you're going to stop um, random violence or unfortunately, kids from being shot it just seems like apples and oranges well actually it is not sir because what you're saying is if black lives matter just on its face then all those black lives would matter and if you're losing more people through the violence of your own people but you're willing to burn down cities based upon the 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 rare violence that happens from cops to those people then the black lives don't matter. There is no way that you're not burning down abortion clinics. Don Lemon. There is no way that you're not burning down drug houses in these communities. Don Lemon. There is no reason that you're not burning down prostitution houses in those communities. Don Lemon. When that eight year old girl got shot here in Atlanta, every one of those people from that neighborhood should be fearing the mob that's burning down their fucking neighborhood until they tell us who shot that eight year old. Can someone tell me I'm lying? How about that fear, Don? What do you think would happen if we put the same fear that the Black Lives Matter said that if you don't listen to them, they're gonna burn your city down? What fear do you think we do to the drug dealers if we told them if we find out where you live, we gonna burn that down? If in the process of y'all selling these drugs, y'all killing the kids, we burning your shit down just like we did the Capitol building, just like we did the police station. Huh? What do you think would happen, Don Lemon, if we did that? Do you think those communities would be more violent or less?
Do you think more kids would get shot or less? So while you're willing to burn down the Capitol building and you're willing to burn down the police station and you're willing to burn down the officer's house, be willing to burn down the drug dealer's house, be willing to burn down the gang member's house, be willing to burn down the house of the individuals who are protecting the man who shot an eight-year-old child. You know, it, 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 it's not that way. You know, this is the thing, Don. You know, black people need to hold other black people accountable. I said this the same thing. This is a, the black America's version of the Me Too movement. If anything is going to change, we ourselves need to look at our own communities and look at each other and say this thing cannot go down and and this is the thing too there are a lot of great great people there who are held hostage who are held hostage by people who literally are, are, are running these neighborhoods with violence and then claiming that black lives matter when you look at the parents of these little kids who are mentioning saying hey man why aren't they speaking up for me too and and this is what I'm saying it's it, when I look at this whole thing about, you know, it's about who is controlling the narrative. It's, not, it, it's got to be all Black Lives Matter. And what's happened is that because I even challenged it, because I even questioned or, and warned okay, people, Terry, I, I became sick. Like I, if I, I told get you it. to wear a mask, but per- Terry, they want to per- kick you out. You're, you're a high profile person. You're writing things out there. You know you're going to get backlash. You know people are going to respond to what you're saying on Twitter. So I just, I don't think you should be surprised by that. I, you know, I have a, a skin as tough as an armadillo because of what I do. And I think maybe you should adapt that. But here's, here's what I have to say. Um, the Black Lives Matter movement was started because it was talking. Listen to his sarcasm. And I, 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 I think may, 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 maybe you should adapt that. And then maybe, may, 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 maybe that uh, 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 Black Lives m- 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 Matter should uh, 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 adapt that too. And 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 um, we we understand, uh, Don, that you probably got a, a tough hide from all the pounding. Um, but maybe Black folks should adapt that same thing that you got, sir. Hmm? Could black people do this? Why won't you stand up and tell black people to adapt the same tough hide that you got from the pounding you've taken over the years? Talking about police brutality. If you want an all Black Lives Matter movement that talks about gun violence, in communities, including, you know, black communities, then start that movement with that name. But that's not what Black Lives Matter is about. It's not an all encompassing. So if you're talking about um, if if someone started a movement that said uh, cancer matters and then someone comes in and said, why aren't you talking about HIV? It's not the same thing. We're talking about cancer. So the Black Lives Matter movement is about police brutality and injustice. Yes, and if you were talking about cancer matters, you asshole. I hate when people give analogies, and I always can walk them back down their own analogy. Yep. So if you found out that the people who were getting cancer were being given cancer to themselves, would you not educate them on ways to not get cancer themselves, sir? If the largest amount of people who were dying of cancer were self-injecting and doing these things to themselves, one of the ways that you would want to knock that down, what would you do? You'd make sure they realize that they're causing this themselves. Why is it they won't bring me on these damn shows? Great analogy, sir. That's how it started off. Yes, you're right. Great analogy. And when we were talking about that, if we were giving ourselves that damn cancer, would we not make sure that we could understand how to not get it? That we're causing it ourselves. We'd want to address it on all fronts of cancer. just like we want to address it on all points of blacks losing their lives.